Hello and welcome back to Xenosaga episode 3. I found a door that seemed kind of interesting. So I decided to start the episode and see if this is indeed an interesting door. Uh, oh, hello, sir. I've mostly been running into rooms that weren't particularly interesting. Uh, so I decided to cut that out. That's long and short of it, I suppose. Trying to conserve a little bit of EP as well, I might have been uh, going a little bit overboard previously with my spending. Fucking Junior can go for bullets. What a, what a G. Uh, do we actually want to do like an Ice Bolt 2, see if that kills this man? Uh, not quite, eh? Okay, nice. There we go. And a cutscene. There she is. Master. Shelly, are you okay? I'm fine, but the Arbiter Code has fallen into enemy hands. Oh, that's bad. What about Mary? I'm sorry. I failed to stop them. Don't blame yourself. None of you did anything wrong. Yuriev is likely headed to the isolated hangar to release the seals on the emulators. That's I bad. overwrote the gate ID, but it's only a matter of time before it's broken. Don't worry, I'll stop them. The Elsa's in the Canaan. Escape and take her there. Understood. Be careful, little master. Right. Don't worry. Sorry if I mashed a bit there. Got a little twitchy. All right, let's head to the isolation area. Thank you, video game, for uh, being very clear about where I'm supposed to go. I mentioned like an episode or two ago, a couple of episodes ago, I think, uh, that there is a scene that I know... Was there... Is there a room over this way? I don't know if... I don't... I haven't been in here. Let me just... To be entirely certain, check every room. There is a scene that I'm pretty sure is from this game. That I saw as like... A meme. Like there was a very specific caption. And I'm pretty sure it was Junior saying a certain line that seems to be in line with what is happening in the story at this point. I didn't have context for it then. Well, I kinda did. I think I might have mentioned it in the episode one. Let's play, ah, let's kill this man. These men. Uh, but we'll see if it comes up. I don't need to give anything away exactly this instance. That's a critical on that man. I'm, I still am taking, you know, pretty, pretty big damage. Despite how overleveled I seem to be. Which is interesting. I don't mind terribly though. That's just to be safe.
Most of these rooms have had nothing in them but... You know, if you skip one room, it just might be the room that has something in it. Instead of nothing. And you don't want to skip that room. So you gotta check all of them. You know? I, I don't think that's an entirely uncommon frame of mind for video game enthusiasts like myself. Number 19. 19 is never a coincidence, as Mr. Stephen King would have us know. I wonder if it's... I want, I'm not sure if the line is exactly that way in the original. I have... I've read some of the Dark Tower books in English and some of them in Swedish. It's kind of a mess. But, uh... That's just how it happened. That's it, Trine. This is gonna be a boss fight. Guess we go in with this party. Hello, number 666. It's been a long time. <gasps> Junior? Citrine! I'm so happy to see you. You're the only comrade I have left. Comrade? She's a URTV as well. You accepted that pretty quick, even though every other URTV we've ever seen has been male, but whatever. Yes, female. Actually, you might have seen her. Citrine. You might have seen her in the Encephalon Dive we did in episode two. Never mind. She's a variant URTV like us. If you're on guard here, then Dad must be inside. And if he is, I won't let you interfere with Father. Are you an idiot? Don't you understand what's going on? Are you fucking stupid? If we don't stop him, this entire universe will be in danger. That's an issue. You're the one who doesn't understand, Rubido. Have you forgotten our duty? Our mission is to destroy Udu. It doesn't matter what happens to the universe as long as we accomplish that. So Dad plans to use the power of the emulators and the original to destroy Udu? A failure who's forgotten his role as a weapon and abandoned his duty has no right to speak to me. Can you use the Zohars to destroy Udo? Doesn't the Zohars... Isn't the Zohars power essentially... I, I, I might have misunderstood... But I figured Udo was like the wave energy coming off of the Zohars. Or the, the original, at least. Citrine, stop! I don't want to lose any more of my comrades! Comrades? You abandoned us. You're no comrade to us. Citrine! I forgot to mention, but I have one more duty. Kill you? I have the power to destroy the Red Dragon, just like Negredo. Do you think you can defeat me? I do. Kind of a shame she doesn't have her own music. We've heard this song before. Uh, how do we play this though? Do we go for a break? Do we... I feel like I'm... She, she's resistant to fire, otherwise I would be very tempted to go for the red dragon move on her. A beam weak. Do we go for the beam or do we start working to break? I think we go for the beam. Let's, you know, see how much it does at the very least. Oh, crit for over 2,000. Did a, did a bit of a chunk there. You guys are working on the... Did I give you... I did give you Analyze. Can we have a quick look at that? 
Bio, human. Crescent moon. Weapon development area key. Right, maybe I should try to steal from her. No poison. Mystique. E. Oh, ether. <laughs> I think we go for the cape hike. Nice. Straight for Shion. Go for the K Pike again. I do think I want to try and do the high chance of sealing an item. Stole Crescent Moon. There we go. <laughs> Maybe we should do a... Which one are we scared of though? Let's do one of these. I think I'm gonna need to break heal Shion. Though maybe I should be looking to heal... Oh, she can do that, eh? Good. Give her another one. Now she on ether. Status effects of all allies. That's kind of shockingly good to have that affect all allies. Very nice. It is fire, and she does resist fire. I kind of just... Let me just do it for the thematic thing. Yeah. Very poor damage, but it was fun to do. Now. Human only. Let, let's toss her on the ground. Learn some better. Okay, Pike. Uh, locked and ready. See if we can get that break off. I don't think so. Oh. I feel like any attack is gonna break her. What is our... Medium physical, higher critical. There's a heavy physical and a heavy break. Maybe I should have been using that. Ah, that's fine. Let's just do that. Uh, I'm actually gonna hit us with an... Offensive. I have decided. I 
And what do we got? We got heavy physical, all heavy physical, heavy physical long, but that's slightly more expensive. Let's just do this. Shion again. See how that does. Pretty good, I'd say. Do you have a heavy physical? You have one heavy physical that is also break. You're, she's already broken, but let's do this anyways. We do this actually? That would be cute. I've never. When I'm. When am I ever gonna get the chance to use this otherwise? Look at that fucking Super Saiyan aura for Shion. Oof. That was sick. I like that. Maybe save some. Let's just do a, a good old bee buster. That's pretty good. Let's try and get another break in on her. So locked and ready. Keep pumping that. And then we use the W fang. Oh, miss? Miss encounter. Uh, let me get a break heal on Cosmos, please. She's not. Let, let me. F <laughs> let me fist her down real quick. Uh, maybe if, to be safe, just hit Shion with a Medica. Oh. Is that the extent of your power, Ruby Dove? Mental waves have begun. Gan okay, so we have two options. We guard, or... We start swinging. Oh. Was that it? I'm actually gonna use my boost to boost. I have decided because I remembered now I can do that, actually. So I'm gonna boost to boost. I'm gonna get a shitload of these uh, W fans in. Can I boost Cosmos before Cosmos? I can. Uh, wanna hit her with uh, another one of these? And a W Fang. Get the double. And we do another W Fang. Don't get the double, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a locked and ready. I'm going to hope that the fallen eagle gets her. She's broken. We hit her with a G shot. Hit her with a full throttle. With a B 
Buster, I guess. She's getting low. Oh. Okay, she is very low, but she's not quite low enough, I don't think. Let me... I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that Cosmos can do it. Oh, they... Or... Do we want to try absorbing her soul? Do we, do we think we can do that? Let's try it. I'm not... Finish strike. There we go. That's still big XP. Why were we born? For what reason do we exist? Answer me, Rubido. It's always a good question to be asking you yourself. You your comrades. You killed your brother. Why are you still alive? To keep my promise. Your promise? Yes. The reason I exist is to keep the promise I made. You're still haunted by that woman's shadow. I pity you. Citrine! What could that alarm be? That bastard! He activated the emulators! <laughs> That's the meme. The caption are uh, the so they disposed of caption was Nintendo be like. What is it? Oh, I see. You're sad. You had a connection to that unit. But that's nothing more than an illusion. You are weapons. You see, you're nothing more than one of my parts. You don't need any meaningless emotion. Anything more is completely unnecessary. Behold this glorious picture. My revenge will begin. My time of victory against his terror has finally come. <laughs> you filthy bastard! Stop the emulators now! Is that you, Rubido? It's been a long time, hasn't it? I must say I've missed you. Listen, we both know what'll happen if you even think about touching those. I hear exciting music coming in. Get the hell out of here! Oh, I am so disappointed in you, Ruby Doll. This circumstance is your fault entirely. There's no one else to blame but yourself, and I'm afraid I've been forced to take matters into my own hands. Since those incomplete units failed their mission 15 years ago. My fault? Oh, yeah? Are you... Planning on using the emulators and Omega to destroy Udu? No, no, it isn't that sort of thing. Nothing can ever destroy Udu. I guess you really don't understand the reasons why I am here. All right, then, fine. Why are you here? In ancient times, people used to be together oh. with God. People loved God, revered, and even feared God. Out of fear of the undying God, they sought divine power. This was a way for the ancients to resist him. Eventually, they found a method to become gods themselves. Huh. We have revived their relics, the Merkaba and the Zohar emulators, as well as Mizrahi's Y data, which holds the records left behind by the ancients. This holds the instructions so that we may become gods once again. Ye shall be as gods. You see, Udu is a god of this dimension. If in fact God cannot be destroyed, then we shall be the ones to become gods ourselves. Farewell, my son. I must go now. Remember your great father.
the ancients devised a way to become as gods. Towards? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dad's gonna ram the ship and the emulators right into the ark. Now what? We'll purge the dock and escape. It's gonna be rough, but we don't have any choice. Let's go. Time limit. This is a game sequence or cutscene as we escape. Cutscene as we escape. Okay. It's no good, little master. The remote control isn't working. We can't perform it from here. Then we'll just have to do it by hand. That's insane. A regular person would be caught up in the explosion caused by the purge. Hey, there's someone outside. It's chaos and cosmos. Huh. What is she doing? What an interesting pair. We're about to drop some truth. As the original, it has the uh, the eye. Or are they going? Are you going to pull it? Let us begin. Restore what was once rightfully mine. Oh shit. It's ch changing shape. No way, no way, no way. Wait. I'm not insane, that's... Does that not look like the Xenogears? The Xenogear, or what, the, the thing called a Xenogear in Xenogears. What the hell is that? But how can that I'm be? I don't. An enormous gravity deviation from inside. It is not a gnosis. It is likely caused by surplus energy leaking from Omega after absorbing the Zohar. Okay. It's an astounding amount of energy. With energy of this colossal magnitude. The, the orc also changed shape. And I feel like it's closer to the Eldritch. But the Eldritch was supposed to be, you know, not a gnosis. It was supposed to be like a colony ship, right? I guess his talk of joining the rank of gods may not have been a bluff. Does he really intend on becoming a god? A fucking Wilhelm. And Kevin, fucking what? Omega's awakening is confirmed. So it would seem. For the shift to the higher dimension, Yuriev will likely attempt to absorb Zarathustra. This may cause some effect on the system. That is not the only function of Zarathustra. The measures I've taken are not recorded in the Y data. Hmm. The information he obtained is incomplete. But you have that information? Let us watch over the proceedings. He's a truly fascinating human being. In order to conquer his fear, he chooses to absorb that fear and become that fear himself. 
I do suppose. Shall we send Albedo for the retrieval? He wants to go, doesn't he? It's what he's always desired. It will also work out well for the awakening of the vessels of Anima. It will take a little more time before she awakens. In the meantime, let's enjoy the entertainment. You're speaking very evilly, my, my man. I'm still not sure... What is it? Still not sure entirely what Wilhelm's deal even is. Your Eminence, our fleet has already sunk 70% of the Federation fleet. All that remains is to await your order. Give us the order to attack the Ark. Bargulus, I don't even recall giving you an order to move the fleet. Why should we stand by and watch while the original Zohar is right before our eyes? Dmitry Yuriev has already taken action. We can't just hand it over without any protest. Know your place, Margulis. Just follow my orders. But... Isn't Heinlein and Wilhelm supposed to be the same person? The voice doesn't sound the same. That is all, Margulis. You are not permitted to touch the Ark. Pull back the fleet and leave Nictum. Your eminence. Maybe it's like a... I don't know. Like an attempt to hide. I don't... I, I don't know. I thought Wilhelm and Heinlein were supposed to be the Zohar? same. I don't know. But don't you feel as if something has been out of place? Ever since Ren Le Chateau appeared? It's as if we are no longer acting for our own objectives, but for some other will. Are you insinuating that his eminence is betraying Ormus? Such insolence will not be forgiven, even for you, Chief Inquisitor. I am aware of that, but... Oh, sorry. A little too fast on the button. I know we have to do something, but just how are we supposed to get close to that thing? We don't even know the enemy's location. What part do you want me to stick this ship in? <laughs> How about you stop talking and use your heads a little? Indeed. We've got all these people here and yet none of them are useful. Well, Raptu. sick burn. Why? Who's that? She's an extremely skilled Scantia agent. Oh, is that you, Jin? The same enigmatic expression on your face you always do. <laughs> yeah. I see you haven't changed either. It's rather unusual for you to show your face here. I contacted her. What? Why would you contact someone like her? My, are you sure you want to be that rude to me? You'll regret it later. She has a plan that can solve our current dilemma. That's why I called her. What plan? A way to get inside that thing. Huh? It's simple. You just need to gate out inside of it. Oh. That way you can infiltrate it and no one can stop you. A short jump within the same signal? Can that be done at this short a range? If it's us, yes. Even if we do that, we don't know where Dad is. You should be able to tell where Guinan is. Right? That's true. You are TV. <gasps> I gave my gift to that reality. The rest is up to you. Don't disappoint me now. Momo, analyze this. This is the gate out interference program that Skiantia uses. Mm. With this, we can ignore the signal and dive out by force. Well, isn't she clever? So we use this to get dead, huh? Okay. Hammer, replace the gate jump program. We don't have much time. Get it ready now. Okay, and we get a little brief moment of... How do you say that word? Is it respite? 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 I'm not sure. But uh, things sure are very exciting. You know what is also exciting? I just gotta have a quick check. If the arcade game has been updated. Uh, 
Uh, I'm trying. I need to remind myself of the exact nature of the Sino gears. They were like. Uh, what was the story at the end of Sino gears? There was upgrades to some of the gears into like. Weren't they called like Omega gears? Hey, there we go. New. Only play games for one hour a day. I don't know about that. Well, I have some... Some fun to be had. Before we continue. Oh well, I will see you next time.